Welcome to my YouTube channel Chemical Dot Education. Today I will solve one specific gravity calculation problem. Uh, specific gravity calculation using ideal gas law. Now here is the problem statement. Determine the specific gravity of nitrogen at 100 degree Fahrenheit and 740 mm Hg compared to the uh, compared to air at standard condition of 32 degree Fahrenheit and 760 mm Hg. Now we have to calculate specific gravity of nitrogen and condition is given. Now at STP first derive R using STP. Now here at STP means 273.15 Kelvin that is temperature and 760 mmHg is pressure and 1 mole of an ideal gas so N is 1 mole that ideal gas occupies 22.414 liter so that is volume now t p n and v are given so p v is equal to n t from that we can calculate r so p v is equal to p v is equal to n t so r is equal to p v by n t so from here r p p is 760 mmhg v is 22.414 liter and n is 1 mole into temperature is 273.15 kelvin after putting all this value if we calculate R value, R value will be 62.3637 liter mmHg mole Kelvin. So we get R value. So we don't remember R value. If we know the statement at STP, uh, 1 mole of idle gas occupies 22.414 liter uh, volume, volume of the gas. Now at STP means standard temperature pressure, temperature we have to remember uh, 273.15 and pressure is 760 mmHg. So if we remember that we can easily calculate r value and uh, whatever units are there based on the, that unit we can change the unit and we can get the r after getting r so we can easily calculate the density of nitrogen so using formula so we know that density is equal to pm by rt because pv is equal to nrt from there we can easily convert so rho is a rho is equal to p m rt so m is molar mass now p is given for nitrogen so that is given 740 mmhg and temperature is given 100 degree fahrenheit so uh, that 740 mmhg molar mass is given uh, that is molar mass is uh, we know that n2 is 28.02 now here so when we calculate r so we took uh, that unit of temperature is kelvin now here in the problem uh, the temperature is given 100 degree Fahrenheit. So we first we have to convert 100 degree Fahrenheit to uh, degree Celsius, and then if we add 273.15, then we can easily get the temperature in at Kelvin. So 100 degree Fahrenheit is equal to uh, 310.93 Kelvin, or you can remember C by 5 is equal to F minus 32 by 9. So from here, F is given. You can you can calculate C, and then C plus 273.15 so that will be given as a t now here t is 310.93 now rho so p is p we know uh, 740 mmhg m 28.02 and r we already calculated on that earlier sli slide 62.3637 and temperature we got 310.93 so if we calculate so we will get the nitrogen density so nitrogen density at the particular condition we are getting so uh, nitrogen density here the condition means 100 degree finite and 750 mmg what will be the nitrogen density so we calculate first now second we have to calculate what will be the density of air at standard condition standard condition is mentioned here so you can if you go back to that so standard condition is 32 degree finite and 70 760 mmg so at that ten, uh, standard condition what is the density of air so p is given that is 760 mmhg mass of uh, molecular molar mass of air is we know 28.97 gram per mole now again we have to convert that uh, th 32 degree finite to uh, that kelvin so that is 273.19 kelvin means 30 degree fahrenheit 32 degree fahrenheit fahrenheit means 0 degree centigrade and T, T is 0 degree centigrade, 0 degree plus 273.15. So that is 273.15. Now we know R. 
uh, are uh, for liter mmag mole kelvin so 760 pressure is given the molar mass al already we know and r value we know and temperature is 273.15 so p air density of air is 1.293 gram per liter so earlier nitrogen density 1.096 gram per liter and density of air we know now here we have to calculate the specific gravity okay so first uh, specific gravity calculation first we have to calculate the density of nitrogen and then we have to uh, calculate specific gravity compared to the air so air uh, density already we got now what will be the specific gravity specific gravity is ratio of the density of nitrogen to the density of air at standard condition so density of nitrogen we know density of air we know so ultimately if we put all this plug this value the specific gravity of nitrogen will be 0 0.848 thank you so if you have any question uh, you can ask in the comment section and ultimately in the conclusion the specific gravity of nitrogen at 100 degree Fahrenheit and 740 mmHg compared to air at 30 degree, 32 degree Fahrenheit and 760 mmHg is approximately 0 0.848 that specific gravity does not have any unit so that is SG is equal to 0 0.848 thank you